Hello and welcome to another session of Oracle Developer Life. I'm your host, Javed Mohammed, and I'm very honored to have with, with us Joel Calvin, who is the Senior Director of Software Development, or even more famously, he's the co-creator of Apex. Joel, welcome. Hi, Javin. That's nice seeing you again, and thanks for having me here today. Thank you for giving us your time. So Oracle Developer Live for Oracle Database is quite a mouthful. Like, what, what's the idea? I mean, obviously, we get the idea that it's about databases, but can you give us a sense of what, it, what's, what, what it's about or what your, what your impressions are of it? Um, I thought for a uh, first-run event that Oracle had, I thought it was very well orchestrated. I thought the content was compelling. Um, it was easy for people to uh, attend sessions in sequence or leave and come out, you know, leave and then come back to the, uh, to, to the event. I thought the, the speakers were very well um, organized. I thought the content they had, I mean, these are like world famous people, even in my mind, um, wow. world famous uh, uh, subject matter experts. Um, and uh, the other thing I like is that there was a focus on development. So people, you know, you might say that there's this whole series of developer live. Firstly, there's database, and then I think there's Java, and then MySQL, if I'm not mistaken. And this was the, this was the database series that, that had this first. And I love it because it truly does focus on uh, developers. Mm -hmm. and, and this is always what I try to educate people on in general, right? That people always think of a, a database as my bit bucket, right? I'm gonna put my like row that. in and I'm gonna get my row out. And you know, you do everything outside the database. And I, I say in practically every talk I give, how the Oracle database, whether it be on premises or on cloud, mm -hmm. is I think one of the most magnificent application development platforms. Um, right, there are, you, you can, there is a wealth of application development functionality rather than just even managing data, right? So, okay, well, we manage, let's say, spatial data. Okay, mm -hmm. but, you know, to actually manage and use spatial data effectively, you want to use it in an application. Well, guess mm -hmm. what? You can, uh, via SQL, perform complex geospatial queries all right in the Oracle database. And, you know, obviously my specialty is Apex you can put a very beautiful Apex UI on top of that. So wh whether you're, quote, managing data in blockchain uh, tables or IoT uh, or analytic views um, or machine learning, right? There's this just wealth of functionality just ready to be exposed, and all you need to know is a little bit of SQL. So from that standpoint, I love this Developer Live series because it is, it is targeted at people who are building applications, right, mm -hmm. and using the power of the Oracle database to achieve that. Okay, so besides presentation, and I, and I like the fact that you mentioned that the, the focus on the developer, there was a hands-on, there was some hands-on labs. You wanna talk a little bit about that and what your impressions were of that? Sure, so uh, um, as part of Developer Live, there were a series of, of hands-on labs. I think there was one for, I think for the, uh, um, uh, for JSON and Autonomous Database. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think there was one for Python, and there was one for low-code application development with, with Apex. And we guided um, a few hundred people through uh, registering for the free Oracle Cloud. They were able to provision their free autonomous database, free forever. Um, and, and we walked them through a, a, a couple labs. One, it's the classic spreadsheet replacement. Here's my spreadsheet. Let me put it in autonomous database and create a responsive UI on it. But the second one is very relevant in um, today's dynamic environment where uh, opportunistic applications are abound, where you need to create an application right now and mm -hmm. the need is immediate. And, and the second part of this hands-on lab um, was in, it involved rapid data model creation, data model prototyping, and then creation of an Apex application uh, on top of that. So between, I, I, I thought the sessions and the content during the day was superior and it kind of set up for the hands-on labs in the second part of the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I thought it just flowed very beautifully. Mm -hmm. and, and what's great is, I, you could correct me if I'm wrong, I think all these sessions are gonna be made available uh, for replay for anybody. Yeah, I was actually wrong. looking at the website, they've already put some of the sessions uh, up there. So, I wanted to talk more about Apex, but there's two like burning questions I have. One is I'm looking at your background and then I'm looking at your t-shirt. So let's go with your background. I mean, what, 
What's the, what's the, everything has a story. What's the story of that painting behind you? Well, what's, what's great is, uh, so I, you're now looking at effectively my permanent work environment okay. um, that I'm, I'm now a full-time uh, home worker, which is, I've been remote from most of our team anyways. Uh -huh. um, and, and this is a painting, uh, it's, a, it's a print that my wife got from, uh, correct, correct me if I pronounce this correctly, uh, 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 George Surratt, who's a famous French painter. And this is, mm -hmm. uh, I think this is the painting at the Chicago Art Institute called um, a Sunday afternoon, a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Chat. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, but that it's, sounds uh, like heaven, heaven on earth. Just yeah, that's name. right. Um, and it's, uh, uh, I, I mean, to me, it's a little bit, sometimes people find it uh, distracting, but I'm, I'm not always a fan of the virtual backgrounds because my head okay. digitizes a little bit okay. and uh, I'm right here by a window and I have natural light. So to me, this is kind of a, a calming uh, reminder of reality. How's that? No, that's very good. I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I am using a virtual background, but that again, I've got a very... It looks better on you than it does me, Javid, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> All right. And what about the t-shirt? Can you, yeah, can you so this tell is down a, a little bit on this? Okay. Yeah, sure. No worries. Uh, I'll bring this down a little bit. Um, so this is a, uh, this is the unofficial logo of uh, Apex. It's the, uh, for application building. If you even log into, you know, go to apex.oracle.com or log into the Apex application builder, it's a, uh, uh, a ruler and a pencil, right? So you're, you know, uh, building applications. And this is, we have the fancy, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but that's I fancy. Can. Yes. Circle track O and the apex there as well. All right. So, so one of the questions that just kind of came to my mind, it's very unusual, Joe, in our field to have someone work on a particular product or to be even around in a company uh, as you have. And you, know, you, you started, you, you co-founded or co-created Apex. Uh, what is it now, 25, 20, how many, how many years is it there? 24. 24, okay. So next year will be uh, whatever the whatever twenty fifth anniversaries are called. I don't know. Uh, Forgot what they, what they are in weddings and other things. Though. But uh, regardless, I mean that's a huge milestone and accomplishment. So I'm just kind of curious, like how do you feel about that? I mean, just having you know, I'm sure you know, having started something so long ago, and here it is. It's live. It's vibrant. It's and it's. And, and to me, I think part of the biggest success of this of the of the product is the community you built around it. So I'm just just kind of walk me through. Uh, take me inside the head of Joel Kalman and tell me where you're at. Well, a couple things. Um, so I work for uh, Michael Hitra, who's a senior vice president in database tools. Mm -hmm. I've been working for Mike since 1999, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm fiercely loyal to Mike. And he's one of the most fair and inventive and smartest guys on the planet. So uh, I love Oracle, but I'm also fiercely loyal to uh, to Mike as well. And he's a personal friend of mine, right? I mean, you work with somebody that long. Yeah. Um, so that's that's part of the appeal. Uh -huh. But but another part has kind of been the uh, the growth of Apex and the organic growth of Apex. So as you and I have talked before, you know, even though Apex has been around and growing it's never uh, consistently been Oracle's focus, right? Mm -hmm. It's certainly the focus now, mm -hmm. and uh, it's getting a lot of uh, good press and uh, um, promotion from Oracle now. Mm -hmm. and, but to me, it's, it's been kind of a, a um, beautiful, humble growth from where we started uh, to where we are today, because um, I believe we have a very authentic and successful user community. Um, you know, instead of us coming at people saying, hey, you know, you're going to use this odd low code declarative tool and you're going to like it, is a lot of people have just discovered it and been um, successful with it. And I'll be honest with you, Javin, that's my motivation. Mm -hmm. So I, sure, I, I want Oracle to be successful. But if you look at my uh, tagline on Twitter or on LinkedIn is my real passion my real passion is really helping people and helping to elevate others and see them be successful. Mm -hmm. um, I can do this through my job at Oracle, right? So I like um, using, I, I forget what even my tagline is, right? Is, mm -hmm. is my, my, my passion is customer success with database uh, SQL and Oracle Apex. 
And my personal reward over all these years is um, the, the person who got a job because they're proficient with Apex or the person who got a raise or a promotion or just blew everybody out of the water with what they've been able to deliver. It's to see this happen over, you know, effectively over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And then it, it kind of um, catches, catches, catches fire, right? Because success begets success. Other people say, wow, look what I did here. And then, you know, people want to as well be likewise be successful. And so, it's it, 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 when you talk about what really motivates me, it is um, our wonderful sharing community. They're, I think they're a model for all others. And it's really, um, I get a thrill out of customers being the hero, being the success story, right? It, I never want it to be about us or even Apex for that matter. Mm -hmm. If somebody is hugely successful, they're featured in Forbes, um, or, you know, or they get a raise, that's that is our reward that's that's my motivator even after 20 years all right joe i love your energy thank you so much for sharing i was actually watching on this as a parting thought i was watching some interviews of yours actually you did a two-minute tech tip with bob rubart and one of the, the the catch line of it even though it's it's a uh, three words that describe it but you want to say those three words Oh, just do it, right? Rather than just, I mean, people sit and talk about, they give a hundred reasons not to do something. Uh -huh. uh, I, I'm a big fan of, rather than let's debate it, let's just try it and do it and get started. So I'm, I'm, I'm a believer in that, Javin. Joe Calvin, thank you so much for your time, your energy, and everything you do for the community. Awesome. Thanks, Javin. Hope to see you again.